everyone. Republic Jim here. Wanted to give a quick overview of the really heavy, warm sleeping bag that I used on my recent overnight outing and what I carry around in my car during winter when it gets cold. This is a guide gear fleece lined sleeping bag. Uh, it's from Sportsman Guide, and depending on which model you get, the, the price runs somewhere around $80, which I think is really an incredible price for this, very budget-friendly for a warm sleeping bag. Uh, do need to point out right off the bat, this is not a backpacking bag. There's nothing lightweight about it, and it's bulky, so, you know, something that you want to use in, that, you know, you're carrying in a vehicle or pulling in a sled like I do on my snowy overnights, but for something like that, it works well. Just be aware that it is heavy and bulky, but they have two different levels of temperature rating. One of them says uh, comfort level is zero, the other is minus 15. Obviously take those with a grain of salt. Like most sleeping bags, they tend to exaggerate what is comfort and assume you're going to be wearing a lot of clothes in the bag. But in general, they're, they're quite warm, especially if you're not in extreme temperatures. Uh, I've had this one for several years. Honestly, I don't remember which model it is. I'm thinking it, it was probably the zero degree instead of the minus 15 because back when I got it, I really didn't anticipate doing anything too extreme and, you know, looking at saving some money. But either one of them is a pretty good price for what you're getting. They're just a massive bag from from the foot all the way up to the top of the hood part here is over seven feet and has a nice, uh, uh, I don't know, polyester or something, ripstop type outer part here that is pretty water resistant. I've actually had it in a tent where got a lot of condens condensation and the bag was touching the wall of the tent and I did not have any water soak in and bother me at all. I've had times where you know, wind was blowing rain or snow and I got some sprinkles on the bag. Again, stayed perfectly dry, so that works pretty well. I certainly wouldn't say it's waterproof, but it's very water resistant and it has nice, comfortable fleece lining in there, which is really nice. And, you know, has the, the typical thing of the, the zipper that has the baffle there to prevent air infiltration and such. And, and this part can be cinched down around the head, seal it up fairly snug. I never really make use of that, but it's a nice feature if that's what you want to do. So, yeah, the only difference between the two models is just the amount of insulation in it. One's a little thicker and heavier than the other, but not by much. And, you know, they're still on the market. I like them. For the uses that I have, I'm really impressed with it. I've had some good night's sleep in this and, you know, in some relatively severe weather. Not anything too crazy, but, you know, and it's also, it's big enough that if you're doing anything really absurd temperature-wise, you can always put something else inside it just to increase the comfort level. So, yeah, anyway, that's, I will show you what it's like when it's in the stuff sack that comes with it, because 
I've read some reviews on their site where people were complaining about not being able to get it in the stuff sack. And that's just mainly because people don't understand how stuff sacks work and they try to roll the bag up and then shove it in there and that doesn't work at all. But anyway, I will shut up for a moment and get this thing in the bag and then give you a look at how that works. Okay, so here it is all stuffed in the sack and it's got these handy compression straps going around so you can really cinch it down. You know, as I said, it is bulky regardless though. Clearly not something that you want to strap on top of a pack. But for stuffing in a car for emergencies during the winter or for going out car camping or sled camping and such, works great. And this, I've had no problems with the stuff sack ripping or anything. I've, I've had this in and out of here lots of times and have no problem getting it in there. So I'm really pleased with the whole system. Hope that information has been useful or informative to some of you. This has been Republic Jim, and I'll talk to you later.